John Davi, founder of Restoria Portfolio Advisors. We serve as an outsourced chief investment officer firm to other independent RAAs. Uh, we provide them with ETF model solutions uh, and full trading and back office capabilities. And we're also the sub-advisor for two ETFs, uh, ticker PPI, an inflation real assets fund, and ROE, an equally weighted quality TIF. So we're much more constructive on 2024 than we were going into 2023. If you think about the last two years, you've had to deal with rampant inflation, a Fed that was hiking interest rates. At points in time, the last two years, you had negative real rates. Um, you know, going forward, you know, uh, 2024 and beyond, you know, we're transitioning to interest rate cuts, positive real rates, lower inflation. So we're much more optimistic, you know, going into 2024 and, and, and beyond. Uh, so as a result, you know, we've overweighted equities. We've rotated out of market cap weighted indices into more equally weighted strategies. You know, we are playing for an eventual rotation out of the Magnificent Seven uh, into other international areas of the marketplace. So overall, we're much more constructive. And within fixed income, we've been uh, rotating out of treasuries, more into corporate bonds and other fixed income asset classes. And we've also trimmed some of our alternatives. Everyone, all they want to do is buy the Magnificent Seven. And, you know, we just think that there's a lot of opportunities outside of those seven stocks. Uh, you know, there's plenty of other growth stories, you know, in the U.S. and then internationally. So, you know, our firm launched uh, ROE, which is an equally weighted quality TIF. So we want to eventually play for a rotation out of market cap weighted strategies. Um, so what, what ROE does is it takes, you know, 100 of the highest quality stocks and it equally weights them. So if you load it up into like a risk tool, like a Morningstar style box, it kind of fits in like the mid cap area. So I think that over periods of time, you know, mid cap stocks and, you know, small cap stocks will eventually outperform large caps. So again, as we go into like 2024 and beyond, we think that there will be eventually this rotation added Magnificent Seven. As far as challenges, I think, you know, the US economy is so strong right now, you know, rate cuts have been getting pushed further out. So I do think that like we're in this tricky period because we may not get a rate cut, you know, for another four or five months. I would say China and the slowdown in the Chinese economy and them exporting deflation is something that is not often talked about. Um, you know, it's a big world out there. There's a lot of other stories besides the Magnificent Seven. So I would just encourage advisors to not myopically think about just a few select growth stocks and just think about other sectors and size and style, whether it's, you know, U.S. small caps, U.S. mid caps, international developed market, emerging markets. Um, you know, U.S. has had a tremendous run the last 15 years. I don't think that that's going to continue. And, you know, eventually markets will need a broadening out beyond these seven growth stocks in order for really markets to be healthy and encouraging for investors. I come every year. I've been, you know, one of the original people in the ETF, you know, ecosystem. I've been doing research on ETF since 2000, coming to the Florida ETF conference for many years now. I think, you know, going in the exhibit hall and interacting with a lot of the issuers is great. You know, just the community that, you know, Vetify and TMX has built is just very encouraging. And I just love, you know, being in a room and just, you know, you can see everyone, you know, whether it's the product sponsors, advisors, you know, your, uh, your partners across, you know, other asset management firms. So it's been a great experience and, and I'm thrilled to be here.